Hello. In this short video, I will demonstrate that the gamma function of a integer x plus 1 is equal to x factorial. So, given the definition, of gamma x plus 1 equals integral 0 to infinity u power x e power u du. So, using integral by parts we have basically the definition of integral by parts is integral f of x g dash of x dx equals f of x g of x minus f dash of x g of x dx or minus integral f dash x g of x dx. So, now assuming u of x is f of x and g dash of x is e power minus u, we have u of x does not change, u power x does not change, but then we have integral of e power minus u that is e power minus u into minus 1 and the limits are from 0 to infinity. And the second function is the derivative of u power x which is x times u power x minus 1 and then integral of e power minus u that is e power minus u into minus 1 du limits from 0 to infinity. The first term is 0 since e power minus infinity is 0 and 0 when you insert 0 here you get 1 and this is 0. So, this is 0 and this is minus or minus plus integral 0 to infinity and you can bring the x outside. So, x times u power x minus 1 e power minus u du. So, if you look at this integral, it is nothing but gamma of x. So, gamma of x plus 1 equal to x times gamma of x. Hence, the, the gamma function of an integer x plus 1 is equal to x times gamma of x. Now, let us find gamma of 1 and x should be a positive integer here. So, the gamma of 1, we cannot use this formula, we have to directly use the integral function that is the definition 0 to infinity u power u power 0 e power minus u du which is equal to e power minus u into minus 1 0 to infinity which is 0 minus of minus 1 which is equal to 1. Hence, gamma 1 equal to 1. Now, gamma of 2 and since x is equal to 1, this is a and this is a valid positive integer, we have 1 times gamma of 1 which is again 1 and next we have gamma of x plus 2. We have to prove that gamma of next we have to prove that gamma of x plus 2 equal to x plus 1 into x gamma of x plus 1. But we already know that x plus 1 gamma of x plus 1 is equal to x times gamma of x. So by just inserting x equal to x plus 1, we have gamma of x plus 2 equals x plus 1 into gamma of x plus 1. Hence, if this is true, then this is implied. This one basically, when this proposition always leads to this result. Hence, by induction, gamma of x plus 1 equals x times gamma of x, which equals x times x minus 1 of gamma of x minus 1. And by simply continuing with this uh, progression, we get 2 times, I mean x times x minus 1 up to product of two, up, the product of x with x minus 1 with up to 2 to 1, that is nothing but x factorial. Hence, gamma of x plus 1 equals x factorial.